Hey man, I had to let him go. You know, I've been thinking a lot about side hustle. I think at a certain point in everybody's life, we all create a side hustle. Now you can see by the title, I sold this Air Jordan for a thousand, twelve hundred to be precise. Um, this is the Soul Fly Jordan. I never showed you guys I picked these up. I got them for a steal, honestly. And there's just a lot more to the story, but this is a beautiful shoe, man. I mean, it really is. These only released in Miami. I never did a full review on them, MIA, and then you got the 305 on the other shoe, even down to the box. Like, if you know about Jordan 1s, you know the standard Jordan box. This one is huge, and this is only a size 12. Now, I was pretty sad to let these go because I couldn't decide, man, am I gonna wear these? But at the end of the day, like, I don't really wear green, you know, and I, I love Miami but I have no connection to it. So it was more so just having that shoe that a lot of people won't have, but also, will I ever wear it? You know, I really wanted to hold on to these, and the reason being, I truly believe that they're gonna go up crazy in price, but I would have to hold on to them for another year or two in order to see that return. And I get a lot of DMs from you guys always asking, hey, my parents think shoes are a waste of money. How can I Show them that it's not a waste of money. How can I prove to them that there's more to this? You know, there's an opportunity to make money. Now, I'm not saying that this is strictly about money, but if you have a passion and you love sneakers, you know, there's always benefits to it. You can buy two shoes, sell one, pay for the other. You know, it's, it's a side hustle. So I kind of wanted to just break that down, you know, as far as stocks are concerned. Uh, recently, I downloaded the app Robinhood. Shout out to my homie, Tyler. Um, he kind of put me on and years ago, he kept saying like, yo, Robin Hood is gonna be dope. This is this is the next like stock market trading. You need to get on, you need to sign on this. And I didn't know much about it and I was afraid. I'm like, I don't know much about this, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna take that leap because I don't know what I'm getting myself into. And I think that's, for a lot of us, we just don't know. When in reality, all you gotta do is research. Do your research and figure it out. You know, all the answers aren't gonna just be given to you. So that was kind of my premise behind this video. Shoes are stock. This shoe retailed for what? Maybe 160, 170, no more than $200. And now it is clearly selling for anywhere from $1,200 to $1,800. That's a huge return on a shoe. You know, shoes really teach you about business. I just wanted to make this video for you guys to kind of give some points to your parents or, you know, people that don't believe in what sneakers and what value they have. And I kind of wanted to talk about my thought process on selling these because this is a super clean shoe and I am sad to let it go, but at the end of the day, money talks. It's about not being greedy. If you can make a little bit of profit and you don't really need that sneaker, get rid of it because you never know. I truly believe that this will go up in price based on like the, the Art Basel and you know, they were going for around $1,000 now they're going for like three or 4,000. And that's crazy, right? It's just the sneaker. At the same time, I could hold this shoe for another year or two and it could completely lose its value, which I doubt is gonna happen because it's so limited, but that's the, that's the risk. There's risk involved with this. You think about Ultra Boost. They were just super hard to get, super limited. They came out with Kith Ultra Boost. They came out with Undefeated Ultra Boost and those were all going for six to $900. And now, they're like under retail. So this is so much like stocks. And I never put it into perspective what sneakers can actually teach you as far as business. Like I have my business degree. We never really learned necessarily about stocks, but because I was so heavy into sneakers, buying, selling, collecting, basically when I started investing in stocks and following the trends and kind of understanding the breakdown, it's amazing what you learn from shoes. I just kind of wanted to make an open discussion on what you guys think, man. Uh, if any of you guys do want to get into stocks, I have my referral link down below for Robinhood. You can check it out. It's free, completely free trading. 
I've made a little bit of money. I have not put much into it. I'm telling you, you should probably invest like $1,000. I've put like $300 because I'm just trying it out. I still got student loans. If you have any debt or student loans, you shouldn't be really investing in stocks because the return that you get compared to your interest rates on your student loans, it just doesn't make sense. But it's one thing that I just wanted to mess around with because I want to just, you know, learn. But yeah, guys, just an open discussion. What do you think? I feel like a lot of us get caught up in this greed, like, oh man, these are going to go up. So I keep, I'm going to keep holding them. But this is one of those things where I'm gonna let these go for the 1200 that I made. And you know, I'm gonna invest that money in another business endeavor that I have going. That's the way you gotta think of it. Sneakers for me have provided opportunity and thousands of other people opportunities. So it's never too late. Now getting limited sneakers is not easy by any means. Even plugs that I've had are having trouble getting sneakers now. It's only getting harder and harder. There's no secret or some like magical plug that can help you out. You know, you just gotta do your research and know the right people. Let me know what you guys think about these down below. Soul Flies, such a phenomenal Jordan 1. Very nice tumbled leather throughout the shoe. Like I said, I am sad to let them go, but I have so many Jordan 1s. It's not even that big of a deal. Sometimes it's just coming to that realization of like, if I wear these out anywhere, who is really gonna care? Nobody. Nobody's gonna care if I'm wearing the Soul Fly Jordan 1. It just looks like a typical Jordan 1. So why wouldn't I make some serious cash off of these? You know, I gotta get rid of them. And it's one of those things that they do drop in price. Hey, I'm gonna pick them up later. But yeah, short video. I owed you guys an additional topic. So that's what this is. If you can help your boy out, get a thousand likes for the one time. I'll catch you in the next one. This is your boy, Sneaker Life. Run it.